Hey, hey, what's up, Derby fans? Just last weekend, you guys saw us in the uh, team show <coughs> in Evansville. This weekend, we are back for more action. Traveled a little bit north here into central Indiana. We're at the Connorsville Fall Derby here. I uh, put on my Roush Promotions. Uh, tonight, they got a full-size stock class. Um, they have mini card gut and go, I believe full-size gut and go. And uh, they have autocross uh, about going on right now. So we'll see what's going on tonight. Let's see who's all here, what's showing up, and what can we expect tonight here in Connorsville. First time being here in central Indiana to film a derby other than the state fair. As you're gonna see a lot of PT cruisers tonight. There's a handful of PTs here. This is the ever-growing inspection line going on. Uh, you guys will recognize a few cars from earlier this year. are still starting to show up guys uh, so if I miss any uh, you guys were going to see them in the videos there's still a car pulling in right now as we speak this car still has the glass the glass still on the floor Uh, you guys seen the 01 of Browning. Uh, we have not seen him since uh, Crawford County Fall Show, I believe, three years ago. So it's been a while since we've seen Browning. Got a little chuggy doll hanging. And I believe they're also running a minivan class. Uh, not very many vans here, but there's a lot of stock cars and there's a lot of uh, minis here. Very last minute decision <laughs> for us to come film this derby. You guys saw the 89, the Indian. Uh, we guys look at the state fair videos. You guys recognize him. Back here, we guys have seen more state fair cars. I say, if you guys have not checked out the Indiana State Fair videos, you guys have seen uh, some of these cars run. There's a lot of cars from State Fair, and what I heard, if you guys went to the Speed Drome Derby a few weeks ago, there's a few cars there from the Speed Drome Derby. And Lawson, he just ran last weekend at Shelbyville. Sean ran last weekend at Shelbyville. I mean, the clamp's probably fixable. The fucking ass up from the, from the fucking doghouse back is just what's unsafe. Another bubble top stock car rolling in in the back as we speak. There's a lot of cars here, guys. End of the year for most of these guys. So they want to get rid of their junk. And there's there's a few fresh cars that are here tonight, uh, just like the one rolling in on that rollback back there. So you guys might see a few fresh cars. Uh, this guy actually won uh, State Fair, I believe it was night two. Uh, something bad happened. I don't know what it is, but something bad happened earlier uh, today in the pit. So he looks like won't be running tonight. This old school wagon. And I do 
believe this wagon ran at the in the Relic Classic Bash. Another PT. Oh. Guys here for the go, go in the minis. A lot of these guys still had their gas tanks underneath the car. You can tell about the bumper. Bumper's being reinforced. The cut and go. Oh, and the demolition missions. Multi demolition. I know Mitch is over there. Is he? Yeah. More cars for the gun and go. This whole entire fender. Some of these cars uh, that are made nowadays, especially from the 2000s, have them stupid fenders that will just break off into pieces. So some of these guys will remove fenders like that just because of just from factory. Like I said, a lot of these cars still had their gas tanks underneath the car. Save time, especially with a lot of these cars nowadays. More cars over here for, looks like gut and go. There's Mitch. It's a man with a camera filming a man with a camera. Hey. Shout out right here to an old follower of mine from way back in the day, Tanner. This guy has been filming derby videos on his YouTube channel. He's here actually filming the show. He's gonna have a view from the pit side today, which will be right there. And we are gonna be filming from the grandstand side. So if you're looking for yourself in these videos, guys, and you can't see the angle from one of mine, go check out his videos and see if you can see a better angle of yourself on his side of the arena. I couldn't say it better myself. <laughs> So he's doing his walkthrough right now. Catch up on him. We're gonna leave you to check out that rust bucket because it's rough. And we're gonna continue on this back row. Make sure you guys go see Mitch's videos. Biggest derby channel on YouTube, guys. He just hit 20K, which is unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> like I said, like he said, he'll have a view from the grandstands. I'm gonna be over here in the pits. Uh, great seeing Mitch, as always. But he said this thing is a rust bucket. And Yes, it is. This thing is rusty. This thing is going to just plow, plow in. And you can see, look at this. That is ridiculous. Uh, he does have his battery spray foam into the seat. Um, and as you guys might see from Midge's videos, uh, spray foam is gonna be your best friend in these gun go derbies of just, it's a fire prevention and it's honestly a lot of it's going to save you a lot of grief um autocross is about ready to kick off for their heats and our gut and go <laughs> car here with a bumper that was pretty much gone on here is a nasty door shot as well. So continuing on guys, we're getting to the near end of our prelude. Uh, we still got the other line to go through on the other side of that pit line that you guys may have not seen. And there's a few more that is over here. It's the wrong way over racing for the autocross cars. Grand Dam, we saw plenty of plenty of these been running here lately. 
and a lot of the events we've been to and a lot of them have been doing pretty well uh just depends on the year of grand dams i know a lot is 90s grand dams um, what i saw run this looks like it's a little bit newer so we'll see how uh, the 17 does in that all right, guys, we are set up, like I said, with Mitch right there on the corner in the pits. So stand clear from the arena track itself. Please. Trying to get you guys a good view. Through. They usually run out of room, run out of track, run out of common sense pretty quickly. Another minivan. I believe there's only two or three minivans. That's here. Line up there, Marky Staff there. He's got them under control. On the outside of that front row is going to be Mike Boswell's 117 inside. We that guy actually has his windshield still in the car. Looks like we got a dropout already. Looks like we might have lost Floyd's 57. So bump up the Brad Coleman number 20 machine. Then goes the 963 of Caleb Messer, the 357. And a wagon here today. for the gut and go. Wait a minute. Uh, somebody swapped some positions Gas tank here. underneath the car. I believe almost all these gun go gar cars may have their gas tanks underneath. This thing looks like it's been through uh, grief, a lot of grief. Another PT. Like I said, guys, there's a lot of PTs here, and they're going to dominate this derby tonight. I'm going to guess because them PTs are hard, especially. Um, in these gun goes, they will do good tonight, or should good, do good tonight. There's plenty of cars that are yet to go, and go through tech. There's cars that need to cars that need to go through and tech tech again from cutting. It's like an autocross. That's going to do it. Connorsville, Indiana Fall Derby here at the Fayette County uh, Free Fair. Uh, they are doing autocross racing right now, and then we're going to kick off. It's derby time here in Connorsville. Guys, we are winding down to the end of the year. It is the second weekend of October. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to say this right now in the prelude. Unfortunately, I have to work next Saturday, so I will not be able to make it to the Pumpkin Smash Derby or even the Scottsburg Fall Derby that they're holding. I have to work, and I do not know what time I will be off work, so I, I'm going to apologize in advance to everyone that was wanting us to come. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to work, and it was, is a mandatory Saturday. So guys, um, the next derby looks like we're going to be at is the Paoli Fall Derby, October the 26th. And who knows from there how many derbies we're going to be filming left this year. But you guys are going to see this derby right here in Connersville, Indiana. So, first time here. Let's see what happens. It is derby time here in Connersville.